Hello there, I'm Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to share with you these brand new updates to Photoshop on the iPad. Honestly, they're gonna save you a ton of time. I absolutely love them. Because what I wanna do right now for this uh, composition I'm working on is I need to just cut out the background and put her in that field. So yeah, we could use our selection tools, but check this out. Right down there at the bottom, you'll see select subject. Bam, guess what? It's gonna recognize this as a person. So it's called select subject portrait. And watch this, all I'm gonna do is hit mask. Boom, okay? Yeah, I could have used Refine Edge, but you know what? It already cut out all the hair, right? Look at that, it already looks great, absolutely love it. So uh, I could do that for some of these other images, like I have these various flowers. Uh, let's do this poppy really fast. Yeah, I could use Select Subject there, sure. Uh, but that's like two steps I have to do. And all I really need to do is remove the background. What's beneath it right there? Remove background. So that's all I wanna do. From that wet red flower, you could see it. We could do it for the daisy. Super easy. Remove background. Remove background. Remove background. And then I can start to move them into place. And by the way, it still keeps the background. It just hides it because of the layer mask. All right, so that looks pretty good. And you're thinking, okay, Paul, you just did everything with solid colors. What about something more complex? Yeah, I get it, like this one. Because I want to put these two people in the field. So all I need to do, and by the way, even if you go under Layer Properties, under Quick Actions, you'll see Remove Background right down there. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, all it's doing is creating a layer mask there and masking out everything I don't need. So sure enough, I can take them and move them into position. So there they are, casually walking in the field, and I'm noticing that uh, I, I don't, I'm not crazy for this wood that's kind of in the way. And that's why I want to introduce you to this next feature. This is, check it out, we're going to select this wood, whatever that is. You can see down there at the bottom, Content Aware Fill, our good friend. You just go ahead and fill that with content from around the photo. Sure enough, it does it, even for, say, this house right over here. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and select it content aware fill get rid of whatever you want and sure enough i'll just turn on some of these other layers and we can see everything that i've cut out using select subject and remove background and notice those are custom fonts which you can also add in photoshop on the ipad as well so thank you so much for watching and uh, check out these new features today thank you